Hey guys, what's up? This is Matt Doran, M. Doran D. I'm back for part three of this leak finder footage. This is footage that is being played on PokerStar Zoom tables. Uh, this is a student of mine that's been doing really well in these games lately. Um, this is a combination of him playing 50, some 50 and L Zoom and some 100 and L Zoom, six tables. Um, and we've covered a bunch of interesting spots and hopefully we'll get to some more today. Uh, I'm just going to stop the video uh, like I've been doing in previous videos as I get to a, a hand that I, was, that I think is worthy of talking about regardless of if I think uh, Hero played it well. Um, and uh, you know we'll just that, that way there uh, that's getting good reviews because there's not a lot of break in between the hands so let's just keep doing that and see where it goes. Okay, so the first hand I want to talk about is right here on the bottom left of your screen on table four. We have Ace Ten Offsuit, and uh, you can see we're already to the flop. I'll just tell you uh, we raised pre-flop to three dollars, and we've got called by the big blind. Um, this is a hundred and L. Uh, effectively, we're 115 big blinds deep to start the hand. And the opponent who called us is played very tight over a very short sample here, just 26 hands. And he is playing uh, just 8% of his hands here so far, over 26. So, you know, basically that means he's played, you know, two hands so far. So he's been playing pretty tight. We can assume he's not a fish. We can assume uh, that he's probably either a nit or a tag who just hasn't had any spots to play at this point. So we arrive at this flop. Um, I do think that there's two options that happen, that two roads that we can go down here on this flop. Uh, the first avenue uh, would be betting. Uh, C betting here. Um, let's talk about. Let's make a case for C betting here. Well, what's the case for C betting here? The case for C, C betting here would be basically that this is a good board for our a good board to C bet. Uh, King high boards do tend to be good flops for the person with the initiative. Um, so that's a good reason to bet. We've got the initiative and our opponent called out of the blinds. It's not extremely likely for him to have a whole lot of King X hands here. It's also not very likely for our, our opponent to have a very strong hand here. We're, we would rep uh, some of the more stronger hands on a board like this better than he could. And so I think that those are some arguments for betting. Also, I think you could say that we do hold some fold equity by betting this flop. If he has uh, a pair from, say, 8-8 eight, eight or 6-6 six, six on down, I do think we have some fold equity over hand like that. I also think that we occasionally have fold equity over hand like ace-jack or possibly even ace-queen. Uh, so those would be the reasons for betting here. I do think that sometimes we should consider not betting with ace-10 here in some situations. So let's talk about that. If I was to make a case for not betting here, it would be that it would be that we actually do have some showdown value here. And that we don't fold out a ton of uh that we aren't really guaranteed to fold out a ton of uh hands that are better than ours. And we're really not going to get called by that much worse. Maybe a couple hands that are worse than ours we'll call here. We might get floated. Uh, by, you know, we're going to get called by Jack-10, for example. Uh, those types of hands uh, would float us here, I think, at least one bet. So there is the possibility of getting called by worse uh, if we bet here, but not a lot of worse hands will call. And, you know, so what would I tend to do on a board like this? Uh, I would be more likely to probably check this back if I was on, if I was on the button. Um, I'm probably a little less likely to check this back versus someone I think is playing really tight. Uh, people who are playing really tight tend to also be weak. And people who are playing weak tight tend to not like to put a lot of money into pots unless they have a really strong hand. Uh, so that would kind of inch me towards betting here more times than not because it's hard for him to have a really strong hand here. So if he does make... Uh, you know, if you know, so I do think I would have fold equity 
on a board like this. So I do think I would tend to leaning toward the bet here in this exact spot. 